I'm going to take the camera off and proceed to show you the rest of my wheelchair. What I'm going to show you right now is the camera mount. This is what is necessary for the entire mount to function. I'm leaning off the left side of my chair, by the way. You can see the plastic of the seat next to it. So that bar comes up from the side of the mount, which turns here, up at top. This is all one piece, this L curve, this L bar is one piece in itself. It's a part that I had made, along with the other part at the bottom. And that piece ends right here. There's a little shaft on the inside, a little male end that goes into a female end that's attached to this next part. This next part is called a steady stick. The majority of this mount here that I'm showing you is <laughs> original parts that came with it. But I had them quite modified. Probably so much that it would be very difficult to buy the steady stick and unless you use these pictures um, it might be hard to get it to work the same way. You can see there's extra pins and nuts and bolts uh, stuff, screws and uh, threading and stuff that I had to do to make a change. On the top I have what is a quick release. I bought it uh, from a skydiving store. It's pretty simple. You just put your finger inside the little ring, pull on it, and out slides the disc that's on the bottom of my camera that I'll try to show you later on, later on uh, in this video. There's a dial right there to tighten it. That's for the tilt, forward and backward. The plate on top, quick release on the other side. At this point right here, it separates. I never separate the part there unless I have to travel, which I don't do very often, but uh, there might be times in the future where I do. It gets a lot of, it gets a lot of movement there, but uh, it works okay. It works okay when it comes to turning it. What I do is I have a little turn, turn dial there. It connects down to the a little shaft. I'm going to take it off and show you. What I do is I take my end, put it around this, and it's weighted pretty well. I've gotten used to it, but I can simply pull it off. Okay. This then I'm going to put it back on. I just set it on. It's off. Together. I turn this little dial by hand. And it tightens down fairly easy. But for now, I'm going to take this off and get it out of the way. Because that's just one part of the camera mount. It's the best picture I can get you of the mount. Try to pause it. That's going to be the best way you're going to see it. I just had different parts manufactured. There's a track. If you can look, this bar from the back all the way down there's a track built into the quickie 626 I had these parts manufactured to flow inside the same track that the original parts came with this is a mount that the bottom bar connects into 